Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. We're back in the shaved in. Time for a Sunday shave. Gonna try out another new razor today. This one comes from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements and it's not even on their website yet. So I'm uh, very happy to uh, do a sneak preview of the latest El Fantasma. And this is a well, it's called, it's described as an epic open comb double slant safety razor. Now I have slant razors and they're aggressive. I have open comb razors and they're aggressive. So when you have a slant and an open comb in the same razor, whoa. So let's take a look at what you get. And I opened the wrong end. So if we open this guy up, it's made from ABS plastic. They have a, a kind of a similar Bakelite product that they use. But what's cool about this is watch what happens when I turn out the lights. <laughs> that thing glows in the dark. Pretty darn cool. So we're going to be trying this monster out for the first time. I was going to use the clown soap with this uh, shave because uh, it also glows in the dark, but I've decided I'm feeling a little bay rummish today. But here's what you get when you get the razor. You get a set of instructions. And uh, there's a line that uh, <laughs> I had to laugh at. Even though the razor glows, don't shave in the dark. And I do agree with that. You shouldn't shave in the dark. You should at least see what you're doing. So I thought that was kind of cool. And they say that they recommend uh, feathers. Uh, let's see, Astras, Voskods. And they said what I already knew, that your particular skin with this open comb slant razor, the blade is gonna be an important uh, factor because you may get cut, maybe too aggressive, maybe too mild. I don't think it's gonna be too mild, but uh, I'm gonna use something a little different that's probably out there more than the Wilkinson Sword Gillettes that I use, and that's an Astra Green in this razor. So let's get this thing set up. Give me a second, I'm gonna clear All right. So this does nothing. It's actually a three-piece razor. Got your brass bolt. Looks just like that. So let us get an Astra Blade out of there. And of course, this box is empty. That's typical here. So I've got a brand new pack. I just opened. <laughs> we'll take out an Astra. All right. Let us see how this goes. Yeah, this is new. You're not even going to find it on their site yet. You'll find a t-shirt and a little bit of advertising, but uh you're not going to find the, uh, the actual razor yet. So on this razor, I'm going to drop the blade right there. And if you can see, it's got a curve pretty darn good. So put the base plate on, lock it in place. And she's uh, brass lined in there too. Got some overhang, which I like, because I like to be able to grab the blade. And on this blade, you definitely look at that. <laughs> I don't know which will be worse, this or the Mula R41 that I've got. Oh, uh, so for the rest of the shave, like I said, I'm feeling a little bay rumish today. So I'm gonna use the uh, Atomic Age Bay Rum, also from PAA. I uh, was thinking about the glow-in-the-dark uh, clown soap that we just tried and uh, clown fruit, but uh, I just did that. It's been a while since I've used Bay Rum, so we're going to do it. Oh, and uh, somebody asked, hey, uh, I haven't seen you shave in a, a bowl lately. And I have a, a people said, oh, he only uses Captain's Choice. Not true. I do have the Captain's Choice bowl. I have Van Nule, but one of my favorites is from Sicily Panta Ray. So I'm gonna use the Panta Ray today. And I'm just gonna use the uh, Ken Surf Summer 2019 synthetic brush. So I'll move these out of the way. 
I've got quite a few uh, scuttles and this was my dad's. My mom got it for him. He didn't use it too often. He probably, you know, didn't like the look of the flowery stuff, but uh, yeah, I've got a lot of bowls that I do use. All right, let's get the Atomic Age open. I have my British coin here, hidden somewhere. 50 pence piece. We're gonna scoop out some soap. It does a good job. Put some soap into the bowl, just like that. And get ready to go. We got the business card here. A lot of whiskers, the business card test. And I'm just gonna put this in here for a brief second. One good thing about synthetics is uh, they don't really take too long to load up with water. I can smell the bay rum already. All right. And I like the Pantare bowl because uh, I can kind of hold it like that, almost like a giant cup. And it's got a spot for you to sit your brush if you happen to be waiting. All right. What's cool is you, you guys answer questions, and then some of you have been watching the channel for a long time, you answer them. And I do appreciate that, because somebody says, hey man, how come you don't use a bowl ever in any of your shades? And then you answer. Or, hey man, how come you haven't tried an Astro Razor, or an Astro Blade, and uh, somebody answers. So I do appreciate that. You make my job a little easier, so thank you very much. And I do appreciate your subscriptions. Oh. Maybe too thick? Yep, too thick. There, a little better. But in this case, I don't think I should worry about it being too thick. And it's a new razor, but I sanitize it. I have barbicide. I put it in the barbicide. I do that with new razors, old razors. I did that uh, the other day with the J GSC. A uh, fat guy. I always uh, sanitize my razor before the first use. That is thick soap, gents. But again, this isn't uh, an advertisement for soap. This is... Oh, see how this goes. All right. Thick. Nice. What'll shaving in the dark look like? Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. So heed the warning. No shaving in the dark. taking it down quick. Here's where it might be a little tricky. Now I have a lot of trouble in my neck, gents. Cut myself a lot of time on my neck, so I'm gonna pull this tighter a little bit. They're working out the manufacturer suggested retail price on this as we speak. I do not know what it is. I got an advanced copy. 
got myself. And I got myself where I always get myself. This is an open cone guillotine, boys. And I'm not a big fan of the Astras, but I know probably more of you have the Astras than do the Wilkinson Sword Gillette blades that I have, that I use. That's typical. Now, for some reason, that seems typical too. Maybe. All right. Thinning this out a little bit. Thinning it out. There. If you want to do three passes with an open comb guillotine, you probably have BBS shave for a few days. All right. That is so kind of thick and a little dry, but again, First time using this. But it is knocking it down. Yeah, I use the uh, 37. Yeah, I think that's the 37. The 39, I think, has a longer handle than right here. In fact, just almost the same height, length handle. Which I think it's like 3.25. Yep, got me. What else? All right. Next time I use this, I'll try a milder blade. And I dropped the towel. So I got a couple of nicks, uh, but I'm telling you, for me, that's BBS. Now, I won't use an Astra again. I'm gonna try something different. So let us, uh, got the uh, alum block ready. I'm gonna put a little alum on there. Close up them wounds, and they're not bad, look. Turn this over. Pretty much closed it up. Man, that is sharp. Someone's going to answer the question, so... I'm used to the R41. I've used it many, many, many times. This is the first time I've used this razor. I know what blades are good in the R41 for me. Uh, this was more aggressive to me than the R41 when I just put in a mild blade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this again in the future, maybe off camera, 
and I'm gonna use a Wilkinson Sword Gillette blade in the saloon pack. And I get these for six bucks off eBay, 100 of them, free shipping from India. It takes a little while. All right. <laughs> Plug it with your finger and let a little out. Otherwise, you're gonna be going crazy. All right. Whew. Intense burn. Because that thing probably took the top layer of skin off. But man, it's light. Could be a good travel razor. Again, you can't bring it on an airplane uh, unless you have no blades with you. But hell, it worked for me. I just recommend if you try one, maybe go a little milder blade than you're used to at first. Uh, I just jump right in with one of the recommended blades. A feather? Uh, th there's a feather recommended with this. Ugh. It would take me a while to want to do that. <laughs> hey, have a happy Sunday, guys. It's good to see you. Please stay safe. I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Bye for now.